Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the cosmic ocean, exploring some mind-blowing facts about our universe that you probably didn't know. We're talking about things so big, so vast, that it's hard to wrap your mind around them. But don't worry, that's what we're here for. Get ready to have your perceptions of space and time challenged because we're about to embark on a journey to the edge of knowledge. Stay tuned. Imagine yourself standing on a seemingly endless rubber sheet. This sheet represents the fabric of space-time, the very essence of our universe. Now picture this sheet constantly stretching, expanding in all directions. That's what our universe is doing right now. It's constantly growing, pushing the boundaries of space and time. And here's the kicker. As far as we know, the universe has no edge, no center. It's not expanding into anything. It's just expanding. This concept can be a bit mind-boggling, I know, but that's the beauty of cosmology. It forces us to confront the vastness and mystery of the cosmos. So, how did this whole expansion thing get started? Well, the prevailing theory is the Big Bang. Roughly 13.8 billion years ago, our universe was an incredibly hot and dense singularity. Then, boom, it rapidly expanded, cooling and creating space as it went. This expansion continues to this day, though at a slower pace. And as the universe expands, galaxies are moving further apart, like raisins in a rising loaf of bread. But here's a question that keeps cosmologists up at night. Will this expansion ever stop? Or will the universe continue stretching outwards forever? Think about a beautiful sandy beach. Now, Imagine counting every single grain of sand on that beach. It seems impossible, right? Now, try to imagine counting every grain of sand on every beach and desert on Earth. That's a truly mind-boggling number. Well, there are more stars in the observable universe than all the grains of sand on our planet combined. Let that sink in for a moment. We're talking about hundreds of billions of stars in each galaxy and hundreds of billions of galaxies in the observable universe. The sheer scale of it is awe-inspiring. But where do all these stars come from? Well, they're born in giant clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. These nebulae are like cosmic nurseries where gravity pulls together hydrogen and helium to ignite the nuclear fusion that powers stars. And just like any good nursery, these stellar clouds are filled with the remnants of past generations of stars. The very elements that make up our planet and indeed ourselves were forged in the hearts of these ancient stars. We are all quite literally made of star stuff. Black holes, just the name, conjures up images of cosmic voids sucking in everything around them. But let me tell you, the reality is even more mind-bending. You see, black holes aren't holes in the fabric of space-time, as the name might suggest. Instead, picture this, a region of space-time where gravity has gone absolutely bonkers. It's so intense that nothing, not even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can escape its clutches. That's why we call them black. Now, you might be wondering, what could possibly create such an extreme gravitational pull? Well, imagine an object so incredibly massive, yet compressed into an incredibly tiny space. We're talking about the remnants of collapsed massive stars squeezed down to a point of infinite density. That, my friends, is a singularity, and it's at the heart of every black hole. Now, around this singularity lies an invisible boundary, a point of no return known as the event horizon. Cross that threshold and you're on a one-way trip to oblivion. Not even your Instagram followers would know what hit you because no information can escape from beyond the event horizon. It's the ultimate cosmic sensor, hiding the singularity's secrets from the rest of the universe. But even though we can't see inside a black hole directly, we can detect their presence by their effects on the surrounding environment. As matter falls into a black hole, it heats up and emits intense radiation, creating these spectacular displays of light and energy that we can observe with telescopes. It's like a cosmic swan song, a final burst of brilliance before the curtain falls. How do we know the universe had a beginning? The universe is expanding like galaxies moving apart. This is called the Hubble Expansion, named after Edwin Hubble. The universe is about 13.8 billion years old. Earth is only 4.5 billion years old.
but there's more. The cosmic microwave background radiation, or CMB, is evidence of the Big Bang. After the Big Bang, the universe was a super hot, dense soup of particles. As it expanded and cooled, it emitted a faint afterglow. This afterglow is the CMB detectable today across the cosmos. Here's a cosmic mystery for you. We see stars, planets, galaxies, all made of atoms, protons, neutrons, but all that stuff only makes up about 5% of the universe. The other 95%, dark matter and dark energy. These are some of the biggest mysteries in modern science. And then there's dark energy, an even more perplexing entity. We know even less about dark energy, but we do know that it's somehow causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate. Imagine you throw a ball up in the air, and instead of slowing down, it just keeps going faster and faster. That's what dark energy is doing to the universe. Now, scientists are hard at work trying to unravel the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. We're building new telescopes, conducting experiments, and crunching numbers like never before. These elusive substances hold the key to understanding the universe's ultimate fate. Will it keep expanding forever, or will it eventually collapse in on itself in a big crunch? It's a cosmic cliffhanger, and we're all eagerly awaiting the next chapter in this grand scientific saga. Welcome back, fellow space enthusiasts, to our exploration of the universe's most mind-blowing facts. Today we're diving into the realm of neutron stars, the remnants of massive stars that have gone supernova. Imagine a star much larger than our sun reaching the end of its life. It exhausts its nuclear fuel, collapses under its own gravity, and explodes outward in a brilliant supernova. What's left behind? A core so dense that it boggles the mind. This core, my friends, is a neutron star. A typical neutron star is only about 12 miles across, yet it contains more mass than our entire sun. That's like squeezing all the mass of our sun into a space the size of Manhattan. The density of a neutron star is so extreme that a single teaspoon of its material would weigh about a billion tons on Earth. Now, neutron stars are not only incredibly dense, but they're also famous for their rapid rotation. Many neutron stars spin hundreds of times per second. Imagine that, an object more massive than our sun spinning like a cosmic top. This rapid rotation is a consequence of the conservation of angular momentum. Think about a figure skater pulling in their arms to spin faster. As a star collapses, its rotation speeds up dramatically. And here's where things get even more interesting. Neutron stars often have intense magnetic fields, trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. These powerful fields channel radiation beams from the star's magnetic poles. As the neutron star spins, these beams sweep across space like cosmic lighthouses. If a beam happens to point towards Earth, we detect it as a pulse of radiation. These pulsating neutron stars are known as pulsars. Our journey through the cosmos continues as we explore the vastness of the observable universe. The universe is incredibly large and constantly expanding. Distant galaxies show us the past, billions of years ago. Light from these galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us. The universe's age determines our cosmic horizon. The Big Bang occurred roughly 13.8 billion years ago. The universe's expansion carries distant galaxies farther away. The observable universe is larger than 13.8 billion light years. Astronomers have calculated that the current radius of the observable universe is approximately 46.5 billion light years. That means the diameter of the observable universe is a staggering 93 billion light years. To put that into perspective, imagine you could travel at the speed of light, which as we know is the cosmic speed limit. Even at that mind-boggling speed, it would still take you 93 billion years to cross the entire observable universe. And here's the mind-bending part. The observable universe is just a tiny fraction of the entire universe. We can only observe the region from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang. The universe might extend infinitely beyond our cosmic horizon. There could be countless more galaxies, stars and planets out there that we may never even get a glimpse of.
prepare yourselves, space enthusiasts, because we're about to witness one of the most spectacular events in the cosmos galactic collisions. You might think that galaxies are vast empty spaces, but in reality, they're teeming with stars, gas and dust, and sometimes those galaxies get a little too close for comfort. Due to their immense gravitational pull, galaxies can tug on each other, distorting their shapes and sending ripples through their structures. These gravitational interactions can escalate into full-blown collisions, where galaxies merge and reshape their cosmic destinies. Now, you might imagine these collisions to be catastrophic, but in reality, they're more like slow, graceful dances. Stars themselves are incredibly small compared to the vast distances between them. So, even though galaxies collide, the chances of individual stars smashing into each other are surprisingly slim. So what happens when galaxies collide? Well, the gravitational forces involved can trigger bursts of star formation. As gas and dust clouds are compressed, they ignite giving birth to new generations of stars. These collisions can also alter the shapes and destinies of galaxies. Spiral galaxies, like our own Milky Way, can lose their spiral arms and transform into elliptical galaxies, which are more rounded and less structured. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is on a collision course with our galactic neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. Don't worry though, this cosmic encounter won't happen for another 4 billion years or so and when it does it will be a spectacular event, reshaping our galactic neighbourhood and potentially even forming a brand new galaxy. Our Sun, that giant ball of plasma that sustains life here on Earth, might seem like the centre of everything. And hey, from our perspective, it kind of is. But let's zoom out, way out, to the grander scale of the Milky Way galaxy. Suddenly our sun becomes just one point of light among billions upon billions of others. That's right, folks, the Milky Way, our home galaxy, is a sprawling cosmic metropolis teeming with stars. Astronomers estimate that there are over 100 billion stars in the Milky Way. And that's just a conservative estimate. To put that into perspective, imagine you could travel at the speed of light, which, as we know, is the cosmic speed limit. Even at that breakneck speed, it would take you a staggering 100,000 years just to cross the Milky Way from edge to edge. Stars come in all shapes and sizes. Red dwarfs are smaller and cooler, while blue giants are massive and hot. Some stars explode as supernovae, while others, like our sun, live longer. There are even binary star systems. Planets may orbit these stars, some potentially harboring life. The diversity of stars is incredible. We are a small part of a grand universe. So when you look at the night sky, remember the billions of stars in the Milky Way. We've talked about the vastness of the Milky Way with its hundreds of billions of stars, but hold on to your hats, cosmic explorers, because the Milky Way is just one galaxy among trillions in the observable universe. That's right, trillions with a T. When we look out into the depths of space, we're actually looking back in time. The light from those distant galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us, giving us a glimpse of the universe as it was in its infancy, the observable universe, the part we can see from Earth extends about 46 and a half billion light years in every direction. That's a diameter of 93 billion light years, a number so large it's almost impossible to comprehend. But here's the real mind bender. The observable universe is just that, the part we can observe, what lies beyond that cosmic horizon. Well, that's where things get really interesting. Some scientists believe that the universe might be infinite, stretching out forever in all directions. Others propose that it might be finite but unbounded, like the surface of a sphere. And then there's the multiverse hypothesis, which suggests that our universe is just one of countless other universes, each with its own unique set of physical laws and constants. Talk about a cosmic reality check. The truth is we don't know for sure what lies beyond the observable universe, but that's the beauty of science, the constant pursuit of knowledge, the never-ending quest to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos.
Well, there you have it, folks. Just a few of the mind-blowing facts about our incredible universe. We've explored the vastness of space, the sheer number of stars and galaxies, and even touched upon the mind-bending possibility of an infinite or multiverse. But our journey of cosmic discovery doesn't end here. There's still so much more to learn and explore. So keep looking up at the stars, keep asking questions, and never lose your sense of wonder. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these mind-blowing facts about our universe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing content. See you next time.